Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my ne Lewis Basketball Network. Welcome back to my channel, man. It is your boy Lewis, and I am back once again with another one, with another banger, with yet another video. Make sure to subscribe my channel if you're new. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to share this video. It only helps the channel grow. Truly appreciate it. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday evening. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know what it is, man. It is game time. It is game time. Game two of the Western Conference Finals between the Portland Trail Blazers and the Golden State Warriors. Who do I have winning this game? I have the Warriors going up two games to none, and they will win game two. Uh, final score prediction. Let me think, ladies and gentlemen. Let me think about this one. I think the Golden State Warriors will win 118. This time it'll be a little bit closer. I got 118 to 110. Steph Curry will have another. This time I think he'll have 34 points, and I think Klay Thompson will have 28 uh, I think Dame Lillard breaks out, plays well. I think he'll have 30, I'm going to go with 33 points. C.J. McCollum will chip in with 27. And I got the Warriors winning by eight. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, breaking news, Kevin Durant obviously is not going to play tonight for game two with the calf strain. It is reported that he will be out for games three and four. Now, some people are making the suspicion thinking that this could be a just a uh, a storyline just to say that the ramp might not play and then if possible if the Blazers end up winning or tying the series that he might be rushed back I don't know if that's the case I really don't know the extent of his calf strain I like I said it might be just a grade one or it might be an injury that is possibly a grade two or grade three like who really knows but he will be back when he be back because he hasn't even resumed any even any basketball activities. You haven't heard anything, so we don't know. Um, but people are kind of might thinking that Steph is having his time, um, you know, to try to see if he can win the MVP. I'm not saying that Steph is going to win it. I think, in my opinion, if Kevin Durant comes back, he will win a third straight finals MVP. That's just my opinion. Um, but I think, in my opinion, Kevin Durant, to me, might low-key be... They might be on to something, man. I feel like storyline. I mean, Damian Jones just came back, you know, for the Warriors. Now we just got to keep an eye on the Marcus Cousins and and Kevin Durant. But with the way Steph has played the last three games, uh, and if he balls out in these Western Conference Finals, I think it's going to be some people are speculating, like, is this Curry's finally his time to get the Finals MVP? You know, I was just talking to my brother, and he was like, you know, I think it's going to be Curry's time because – Kevin Durant is going to kind of have him have his moment and get the MVP as to kind of say, yo, thank you for your gratitude. I appreciate winning basketball games with you here, giving me my chance to shine. Now I'm going to let you shine as I exit out the window, out the door and go possibly to another team to try to, you know, try to enhance my legacy. I don't think that's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. I think for some reason, Kevin Durant will win a third straight finals MVP. He will win a third straight finals finals MVP. He will. And that's just the fact of the matter. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Lewis with another one. Just giving you the latest with uh, tonight's game two. Let me know who you think is going to win game two, the final score, and who's going to ball out for the respective teams, who's going to be the X factor for both teams tonight. And uh, that's the latest news on the Kevin Durant injury. I will come back later with the video with a post game, so stay tuned for that. And uh, as always, man, and uh, bless up. My love. Peace. Thanks for watching.